Hey everyone, Kevin Trainer here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing our very first core workout. So if you're here for that, stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Kevin and I'm a NASM certified personal trainer. And on this channel, I provide workouts, recipes, reviews, and fitness tips. So if any of those things interest you, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when I post out something new. As I mentioned before, we're gonna be doing a core workout today. It's only gonna take 10 minutes, but it's still gonna give you a really good burn. We work out our core all the time during our exercises. However, this is going to give our abdominals a little more focus. So in today's workout, we're gonna be doing eight different exercises broken up into four supersets. So the way it works is we're going to be doing each superset for two minutes. It's going to be two exercises for two rounds, 30 seconds per round. And there is a 30 second rest in between each of the supersets. But don't worry if any of that confuses you because I'm gonna guide you through every single one. So first, let's get started by going to the demos. So in our first superset, we're going to be doing crunches and reverse crunches. So to perform the crunch, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay back on the ground, feet flat on the ground, knees bent. You're gonna have your hands over your chest or on top of your head. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your shoulders off the ground, and then you're going to engage those upper abdominals. Then you're gonna come back, back on the ground. Up, down, up, down. So you're not going all the way up like a sit up where you're raising your entire back off the ground. It's really just your upper back that's coming off, engaging those upper abdominals, okay? The next exercise is going to be a reverse crunch. And in contrast to the regular crunch, the reverse crunch tackles the lower abdominals. And to do the reverse crunch, what you're gonna do is you're going to have those feet planted on the ground and keep those knees together. You're gonna place those hands underneath your bottom. And what you're gonna do here is you're going to bring those knees in and kick up. You're gonna keep your back on the ground as well as your head and tackle those lower abdominals. So bring those knees in, kick up, come down, up, come down, okay? Like so. The next superset we're gonna be doing consists of cross crunches and jack knives. To perform a cross crunch, what you're gonna do is keep those feet planted on the ground. You're gonna lay back. You're gonna have your hands in your head, elbows pointed out. You're going to bring one knee in and it's going to touch the opposite elbow. You're gonna bring those shoulders off the ground. So I'm gonna raise my left knee. My right shoulder comes off the ground. Right elbow touches that left knee, come down. Right knee comes up. Make sure you're bringing those shoulders off the ground as you do this. If you're ready to take this up a notch, you can do bicycle crunches. And what that looks like is, it's a much faster paced movement. You're going to raise the opposite knee to the opposite leg, except you're gonna straighten the other leg out. So, boom, 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 boom. If you're ready for something a little more challenging. The next exercise in the superset is jack knives. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your back. And again, to make it easier, we're gonna have our knees bent. You're going to have those arms overhead. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bring those knees in. And at the same time, we're gonna raise our shoulders off the ground and place our hands on the ground forward. So it looks like this. Down, up, down, up. Okay? You want to make it more challenging, you can send those legs out a little more. Like this. So our next superset is going to consist of Russian twists and a knee plank. And to do Russian twists, what you're going to do is you're going to sit on down. You're going to have those heels on the ground since we're starting out. And you're going to lay into a 45 degree angle. So this is too far upright. This is too far back. You're gonna be in between, so 45 degrees. And your objective here is to twist side to side. So you can have those hands together and keep looking forward. Then you're gonna twist side to side. To make this more challenging, you could raise those heels off the ground and twist. So the next exercise you're gonna be doing are knee planks. And what you're gonna do is you're going to come down to your elbows. Your elbow's gonna be right underneath your shoulders. And then you're gonna have your knees on the ground. And you're going to make sure that your hips are in line with the rest of your body. And you're just gonna hold onto this position. Make sure that your hips aren't too low and they're not too high above the rest of your body. It's in line with everything else, okay? So you're just gonna hold onto this position. 
And if you're ready to take this up a notch to do a regular plank, go ahead and extend those legs out. And the same principles apply. Make sure those hips aren't too high and they're not too low. They are just right in line with the rest of your body. The final superset is going to consist of knee side planks. So we're gonna be doing one side plank on each side. To do a side plank, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our elbow underneath our shoulders, knees are going to be bent, and we're going to raise our hips off the ground and then just hold on to this position. And then we're gonna do that for both our left and our right sides. To make it more challenging, you're going to extend the legs out. And again, bring those hips up off the ground and just hold on to this position. All right, so those are all the exercises in today's 10 minute workout. So I hope you're ready, grab some water, and we're about to get started. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it
it you did it nice job everyone y'all killed it if you did that workout right your core should be on fire right now so i'm very proud of you and if you've been joining me over the last five days doing the beginners to beast workout program this is the first complete week and i just got to say thank you to everyone who's actually working out and using these videos it's filming at 4 30 to 7 30 at night and then i've been editing them from 12 a.m to 4 a.m and it's just been a lot of work so to actually hear that you guys are using these workouts tagging me commenting it just means a lot. So thank you for working out with me. Shout outs to Patsy, shout outs to Anne, Tiffany, Lindsay, Tino, everyone who's doing these workouts. I just don't know what to say. So keep working hard. We have plenty of work to do left. So if anyone else wants to come in and join, all the videos are up here. So you can start from the beginning and just work on your way through this journey. So again, this completes week one. We're going to take a rest day tomorrow and we're going to come back for it Monday for week two. 
All right, stay hydrated, eat healthy, work hard, and I'll see you again.